Hello, Goosebumps fans. <laughs> One of our fans out there actually had a request, and he actually gave me some facts on it. So, well, we're going to do two videos, but I think he's not going to be exactly what he wants. <laughs> so, here is what my take on it, and then here's the new development on Goosebumps 3. So, here's my take. So, when it comes to Goosebumps 3, what we saw was the very end is that Jack Black got up. Sorry. Arl Stein got absorbed into the book. That's what happened. Now, basically, everyone is... Well, we're not going to say everyone's gun ho We'll just say everyone out there who was a Goosebumps fan saying, we need Horrorland, and we need to do exactly... Well, basically, I had like a little bit of an outline, but they want Horrorland. And basically, what should happen is that Horrorland should occur... Arl Stein is stuck in a book inside Horrorland, and well, guess what? The freaking kids have to go and save him. What I would figure is why not combine the cast from the first movie and the cast from the second movie? So basically, you'll have six kids going into Horrorland to save Arl Stein. Given technically Hannah has a reason to do it, and as a boyfriend, he'll be dragged into it. Champ. I'm not sure. Maybe Champ actually is going to say Uno out on this and I'm not going to do this. <laughs> I'm not going to do this. The girl doesn't have any real reason why, but on the other hand, we could actually just give a nice little wink and said that she needed someone to give a recommendation to get into college. And guess who did it? R.L. Stein. Even though that's kind of hard to do considering, well, you know, he got absorbed in the book when he re arrived back into the cabin. So it could have happened that way, or A, another thing that could have happened is just the fact of maybe while he's driving home, he stopped at some place needing to actually do something, and well, lo and behold, there's a library or something, he logs into his email, he does a big recommendation to, because he she most likely told him where he's, she wants to go to college, and he gives a big recommendation, there you go, he goes home, and then Slappy's there, and he gets absorbed in the book. So basically, that's the reason why she do it. As for the two boys, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Maybe they're Uno out on this too. But on the other hand, considering, you know, um, they might actually be grateful or something, even though Arl Stein didn't do anything. But maybe it's payback time for freaking Slappy to abduct his mom and turn his mom into that freaking nature that we saw. So maybe it's just hitting vendetta of being like, you freaking took my my you took my mom and turned her into a living actual ventriloquist dummy. Yeah, unlike you, but this time she's organic and it's like, oh frick, she gave him a zane. And it's like, yeah, it makes sense why he would maybe go gun ho along with his friend being like, Yeah, your mom is cool. She didn't deserve it. And they both just go for it as well. So basically that's that's the story here. And of course, I know that there was actually maybe some little snippets of where you can have Jimanji Gunone in there. And it turns out that, well, it's amazing that what we got a freaking reveal out of a freaking extremely good reveal and special thanks to him, even though, well, Goosebumps is one obviously fan. It's not really all about Goosebumps anymore, but considering he changed himself and now it's like he's gonna do so many other content than just goosebumps that's why i actually subscribed to him he has been silent for so long and i'm pretty sure if he actually had this freaking piece of thing to talk about then most likely he would have actually have been by now already talked about it and i would have made a video to actually say hmm here's the details he told us here's a little bit more details of my thought on it blah 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 there you go there's a video Instead, he didn't, and there's something cooking, man. There is something really actually cooking right now in this. So, the next video is going to actually talk about Goosebumps 3, what's really going to happen. What's really happening, here's details from fans, apparently, and here's details that, apparently, they got from the filmmakers, because it. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to actually do it right now in this video. Go to the next video. Hopefully, I'll have it in icons and blah, blah, blah. Make sure you check that one out because that one's more important than this one.
All right, I had to do a little bit to make sure that we got this Goosebumps fans, and here we go. So first, we're going to start with the one that he showed me. So this is the link that he showed me, and it says Goosebumps Book Madness. And it's an upcoming American horror comedy filmed by Ari um, Sandal, who, yeah, um, damn. <laughs> yeah, and the screenplay is written by Darian Mechie. Which is like, oh, uh, damn. <laughs> Rob Lieber is here, though. Rob Lieber might actually be here, maybe. And it says here that what they want in here is Jack Black is back. Jerry Ray Taylor, Madison Eisman, Khalil, uh, that's how his name, Harris, Del Dylan, Nodelia Rush, Sterling K. Brown, Johnny Depp for some reason, and Will Ferrell for some reason. And he said that this film is scheduled to be released October 15, 2021. And here's the synopsis. The synopsis is two months after the defeat of the monsters from that New York City, you know, Warren Wycliffe, whatever y'all say it. Earl Stein is now trapped in a book written by Slappy the Dummy. Wait, what? Hold on, let me think about this. Hmm. I guess, yeah, he did write that book. And... Arl Stein is struggling to survive among various monsters and traps that surround his environment in order to get out of the book and back to Delaware. He's in Delaware. Anyways, he will get help from good friends old and new as well as his daughter Hannah to escape. All right, the real interesting part has to be the fact of it seems sounds like Jumanji to me. It's like it sounds like Jumanji. I mean, is this Jumanji when it comes to Alan? Alan Parrish when he went into the game. We don't know what happened to him, but we did get an animated series that somewhat did it, but not really. Yeah, somewhat touched upon it, but not really. So he's trapped in a book, struggling among various monsters and traps and or in the surroundings, just like Jumanji. <laughs> And the interesting part is like getting help from his good friends, old and new. So maybe the course is, and it doesn't seem like, you know, it doesn't seem like actually it's friends as in the kids that saved him. The kid in the first movie, the kids in the first movie, kids in the second movie, all is coming back is Hannah. That's it. Apparently. Of course, I should know what his name is. Let's look at the other one I have to actually look at. And yes, he is listed in here. Yeah, so yes, he is listed in here. So he'll be there too. Apparently, they don't want to actually, yeah, you know, mention that he's there, apparently. And of course, in this one, it's kind of funny that they have three comments. And it looks like these comments are from January 23rd. So that means that this is kind of a old, stale page. Of course, it's fandom. So, yeah, so it doesn't actually exist exactly. And it's kind of funny that just three comments and one person's like, I think you should shut up. And it's like, my goodness. So anyways, we're going to go to now the real big deal, which is IMDB, which IMDB is usually a place where you can go and it should be reliable, kind of reliable, even though I should check on who did this, which is Father Death. Let's see who Father Death really is. And Father Death actually joined in later, apparently. Yeah, he joined in within October of last year. So he's somewhat new. Yeah, and he actually talks about a few things of Nerf the movie. What the frick? Weird. Scream 5, A Christmas Killer, Roblox the Movie, Goosebumps 3, and Grand Theft Auto 5. So it kind of makes it to the point of where it's like, okay, maybe we shouldn't trust this guy. But on the other hand, I'm not sure. So this was created nine months ago and said that IMDB, you allow these guys to actually go on here and do whatever the hell they want. I don't think that's how it goes. So 
I think I actually have to take this one and be like, hmm, even though there's really nothing and plus R.L. Stein basically would have been talked about if this actually exists. But in February, he said he has no clue what's going on with the third movie or if there is one. And he gave us suggestions and I made a video on that so you can check that one out. But anyways, what says here and you guys can look you can look at both of them on the screen. Of course, here's the one right now. It says R.L. Stein has written a new Goosebumps book with two teenagers opened it, releasing havoc all over the town. Together, the two teenagers and R.L. Stein have to stop all the monsters and return the pages of Goosebumps. Completely different. Wasn't even crazier is that they have yeah, this guy had even if this is actually something he made up, he actually made a smart move. What he decided, just like what Horrorland could have done, which Horrorland is pretty recent. He decided to call Goosebumps 3 Slappy World, which Slappy World is the books that are out now. So that means even more push to have the books that are out right now to be noticed even more. So basically he has six names and here we got Jack Black. We got Dylan Mignette, who actually plays as, of course, you know, we got Odelia Rush, who plays as Hannah. We have David Arquette. I think it's his name. And apparently we got a Dr. Maniac. And then we got Leslie Mann, who actually plays as Creature Teacher, and Arl Stein, who most likely will make a cameo again. But the thing is, is that if he makes a cameo again, though, he should technically already know that there's a movie in the mix and he's about to get a cameo in here very, very soon. Even though it actually says, let's see, when did they say it's going to come out? It doesn't actually say when it's going to come out. Let me look if I can click to actually copy this list, report this list so I can actually report it, <laughs> report this list. So it just says that it doesn't even have like a whatsoever of when it's going to come out. So I guess maybe he has some insider news and he doesn't know what to do with the rest of it. And you have no idea. I don't know. All I could tell you is that from this. In reality, nothing is going on with Goosebumps 3. And it looks like from this guy, even though I thought this guy was like, yeah, yeah, exactly what the other people said, exactly what they said. It's like, no, instead he's like, nah, that was just a jump scare. You know how it ends with a twist, just like in the first movie, we actually saw Invisible Boy strike or do something to Arl Stein. He's like, ah, and it just paused right there. And we're like, we don't know. We don't know what happened to Arl Stein, and then we come back, and it's like, well, whatever happened, it didn't do crap. Just like the books. <laughs> Just like the books, where it's like the repercussions of what happens next. And Haunted Mask is the best one, where it's like, okay, in the end of the book, we have the brother putting on the mask. Then, do we deal with it in the second book? Nope. Instead, they just continue on saying, next Halloween, it's like, oh, well... So, Crisis Averted or something? Did we miss something in between the first and second book? I'm pretty sure I kind of want to see her go against her little brother, you know? <laughs> it's like, kind of want to see that. And the one where it's like, would you stop hitting your brother? Why are you hitting your brother? What are you doing? It's like, that would be kind of funny to see. But we didn't get that. And, of course, in Haunted Mask 2, it ends with the friend actually said, hey, I got a mask too. And he puts it on and it's like, oh, here we go again. Did that get addressed? Never. It never got addressed. So basically, in the spirit of Goosebumps, technically this guy actually jumps and say, and plus he put it on IMDB. I'm pretty sure that that's actually a legit place to go. And instead, it's more like, well, Sony didn't talk about it or say anything about it, but apparently he might have insider news already, and that's what he got from it. And who knows if it's going to be redone or he actually just came up with it from the butt. <laughs> we don't know exactly, but I kind of thought I was supposed to respect IDB and instead IMDB. And instead, here we are with this. And it's like, huh? Yeah, but again, you can actually choose to either ignore it, and now it's another tale of where he wrote a brand new book, even though it's like, huh? It's so a brand new book, and apparently the parodies just came out and new monsters, and now he has to collect the pages. So basically, they're ripping off the mobile game. 
technically, <laughs> like technically you're ripping off the mobile game. Let's see anything else. Uh, as for the other one, that one actually is kind of interesting where it's like, what's the inside of a book seems like. And instead of being like, yeah, well, you know, Slappy's not going to put it somewhere where no one can actually get it. So he can actually, well, he said, here, you try to enjoy a book for a while. So that means that it's not forever or I don't know. So when it comes to Goosebumps 3, it's like they actually hit a freaking issue of where it's like, are you going to ignore what happened in the second movie like you did the first movie? Or are you going to go into it? And that actually makes sense. Whereas like they go into it, they show what the world of the books are like. And let's see. It was like, yeah, let's see what's going on, man. So if we can actually trust what the guy has, or basically we can combine them, that means that we got Creature Teacher and Dr. Maniac, who's going to be a part of this movie. And of course, take it as a grain of salt, because apparently, yeah, we got to take this as a grain of salt. So I don't know, man. It's like in the end, it's like, well, it looks like this actually is a burnout. But still, though, they do have a pickle when it comes to goosebumps three it's either a they go for it or they ignore it and they might ignore it it's like i'm pretty sure they might actually ignore it but i'm not sure i think since the previous one didn't do good and what's even crazier is that they did a name change even when it came to the dvd release and just said goosebumps 2 no it's not the one that you think of it's actually another one <laughs> and then they buy it and it's like oh what the hell it is the one i thought it was what the hell <laughs> yeah you know how sony is man it's like welcome to sony apparently sony is now going to just go down in flames now and just say oh nah, we're good with no goosebumps you know i don't know what to say on this one and the end of it all has to be the fact of Scholastic is just allowing Goosebumps to be nothing but books. They did a few merchandise, but they're no parachute press. And Sony's not even going into this either, being like, oh, we can get money from merchandising too. Instead of somewhere like, well, we got the rights for Goosebumps, so we did one movie. And since the first movie did good, we got to quickly do a second movie, even though it's like, well... The person who directed the first one and did stuff in the first one, well, he's doing another movie. So it's like, I I just keep on getting to the point where, like, you could have done two movies at once. So you could have waited for the guy. You could have waited for Rob Letterman to return and then do Goosebumps 2 Horror Land. But in the meantime, you could actually allow the January release you promised us. You give us Goosebumps Haunted Halloween. And it wouldn't be that bad because it's like, well, you're giving us two movies. It's like, yeah, you're giving us two movies. But I don't know, man. I have no clue. Could Goosebumps 3 really exist if it's this? If it's one of these, I think we'll be in good hands, supposedly. But I kind of would like to at least get it addressed of how did Arlstein get out of it or yeah, just a short thing of being like, oh, Slappy just wanted me to get out of the book and maybe he has like some postpartum depression yeah or something like that you know whereas yeah kind of like iron man 3 where tony stark every single time he sees something he gets a panic attack or something like that i kind of would like to actually have that included in his character now which explains what happened